This video was brought to you by Elbilmerk, a bedroom planner, storing by Ken Power and Bill Componenter. Yo, what's up? We are now at Oslo Motor Show, and today I'm going to show you guys a new Hongxi. So here we have the EHS9, as you know it from before, but they have some new shit coming. Oh, looks promising. So here it is. It's called EHS7. What, what is this HME? Okay, I don't know. But um, yeah, it is smaller. You can see it here. It is roughly the size of a, a Model Y, maybe. But they have improved, they improved a lot of good things. You know, the, the EHS9, one minus was that it was charging so slow. It's a humongous battery. But here, I can show that quickly. You see, here you see the prices. And 540 kilometers of range. Wow, you know, when they did the NUF test, uh, it, it actually came, well, no, no, wait, wait. I wasn't sure if it was this or the other Hongxi over there. But they have pretty good range and also 250 kilowatt charging. Wait, they don't say anything about 400, 800 volt architecture. How did they achieve 250 kilowatts? Uh, I mean, it's not blistering fast. Zero to 80% in 25 minutes. Some of the fastest cars they do it in around 18, 19 minutes. But 25 is faster than the average. Many cars I test nowadays, they need almost half an hour to reach 80%, right? All wheel drive, look at this, plenty of uh, speed at least. Massage, uh, quiet ride. Uh, so all right, we, we have to try to grab uh, the car when it's possible. Oh, they still have the Hongxi front. Let's see, okay. So now let's see, inside here. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Okay, we have the bridge design. We have one USB-C, one USB-A, a 12 volt outlet there. Um, let me get inside here. Uh, sorry, this is a public day, not only for the press, so there, there are plenty of people here. So uh, I just have to try to elbow myself. But uh, interesting screen design. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this because the screen seems to be straight. It's not tilted towards me. And also for some reason, the screen is I don't know if you see here, it's, it moves slightly away from the driver. So if I try to adjust myself, where I can press the accelerator-ish. Can I re... Oh, I need to stretch slightly to reach the screen, especially if I want to scan radio over there. Oh, it's probably just some, some demo mode here. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm not sure, okay. But um, there is an instrument cluster here at least, a tiny one, similar to... Uh, you know, MBB cars, right? There's some buttons here. Oh, wind? Whoa, okay. Buttons for light over here, head of display. Oh, and then it lights up when you do this. Okay. Oh, the head of display is humongous. Look at this. No, no, some head of display will be roughly half the size. This is some uh, huge head of display. I can tell that for sure. Okay, let me close the windows. Let me check something. Yeah, acoustic glass there. Let me check in the back. No, not acoustic glass there, okay. Is this the, when you open the door? Yeah, this is the open, door open and closing. Big door pocket, speaker grill. Uh, at least it looks nicer than the, on the EHS-9. Okay, let me close. They claim it's really quiet. I need to test that eventually. Okay. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait, is this, is this the haptic? Oh, no! Freaking haptic feedback shit! Nine! Oh, no, no, don't, don't do that. Okay, here. Same here, the haptic, haptic, oh, no, oh. Okay, uh, but at least the stocks here seems... Oh, oh, okay, it has the, you know, the Tesla style where you can go... You see, it doesn't have the, the click where it stays there. It has the soft and the hard soft and hard probably same on this side also oh the whoa the blinker sound though. oh okay the blinker stays there okay the blinker has okay if i'm nitpicking it has a weird lock and and feel over it a, a bit cheap yeah but when you put on the blinker you see the 360 camera and the the, the the view that your left view or right view that comes up so at least that's nice okay moving on now this oh it has cool charging pad perfect for iphone users let me check here is it active 
There, it is active, but it does also have a charging pad on this side. You know, that's weird because many cars, they have already made space for it here, right? But it's not a charging pad. Why? Why? Not charging pad here. I, I tested recently Ceres, which is over there. They also have a charging pad that is tilted more like this, like a Tesla. But both of them can charge, but here, nine. Okay, and then we have cup holders here. And then, oh, what the heck is this? Are we supposed to rub it? Is there a button? Wait, is that just like an ornament? Wait, is it? Okay, wait, wait. I bet it is like a, an iDrive. Uh... No, it's not, it's, not a, it's not an input device. It's just decoration. <laughs> okay. Uh, ooh, fairly big center console. With, what the heck is this? Uh... Oh, oh, what? I have to check what, what is there. Okay, I, I don't know what this is. I'm trying to poke my fingers there. <coughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, uh, is that a shuko? That would be very impractical. There's a shuko in there. Do we have a frunk? Oh, there's a, there's a lock. No, no, it's, no, no. Okay. Oh, look at that. There is a frunk. Okay. Wow, relatively large. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure if you can fit a small baby stroller here, but at least charging cable and some backpacks. And I think maybe a banana box would fit, but no, I think it's a little bit too small for banana box. But yeah, I like this placement. And no extra lid over this lid again, you know? But then there's this lid here, which means that the seal here is not perfect around here. That's why you have to have an extra lid, but there is a front at least. And then it has struts to hold it up. And then I think you're supposed to just close it like this. And then, yeah, that's it. Sunwiser. Yeah, it looks pretty standard. It doesn't extend, it pivots. Okay, same on this side. Yeah, okay. Um, the seats, they feel a bit American-ish. I don't know how to put it, but uh, it works great for me, who has a big ass, but it doesn't have that much side support. So what does it feel like when I'm sitting here? Yeah, um, it's not the sportiest seat, but on the other hand, this car is not a sporty car, is it? It's more like a family car. Plenty of headroom. I even feel like uh, I'm adjusted the seat a bit up. So if I go all the way down, which there, there, there. if I just all the way down, then we have two fist of clearance here. Plenty. And the car is now in show mode. So the door handles, they're popped out, but normally they will go in. But let me just check something here. The door closing sound. Oh, okay. I'll check inside. Okay. Easy fix. Oh, that's kind of hard to locate. Um, yeah, all right. But the uh, center console goes down there. We have cup holders that comes out. Uh, is this also a table? I'm trying. Huh? Wait, is it? There, 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 there. Yeah, a table. Nice. You know, many cars, there is nothing here. Why not? Why not have a table there? And I like the, le the distance here. So you can actually put cups here and then you can st still use the cup holder. I mean, you can still use the armrest. Uh, easy to pull out. Let's get inside. Wow, oh, oh. I noticed one thing that is nice. You see here, my feet are almost hanging like this. When I tried, well, just an example, when I tried to say this over there, I was sitting more like this, you know. So here we actually have good seat height without me even measuring it. We have, wait, can I, huh? This, this is insane. I have adjusted it for myself and I have plenty of headroom here. You know, when I do the banana box test, I will typically have to put a banana box in the footwell vertically, but some cars like an ID7 with good head, uh, with, with good leg room, I can put the banana box uh, horizontally. Here, I suspect I could maybe put the banana box horizontally also. That's how massive the leg room is. But um, yeah, we have one USB A, one USB C over there. Nothing else. This has only ma ma manual uh, adjustment of air vents here. And then let me check here. Materials. Hey, what? Huh? What? Why do we have two of these? Okay, they are in showroom mode, but uh, I suspect that you can actually take down the window on that side. Uh, really? Okay, we have handles above each door except for the driver's door. And then, but usually when you have good leg room, you will sacrifice headroom. What about with this? Car? What? <laughs> you have plenty of headroom and still 
plenty of uh, seating comfort. Wow. What about in the center seat? Okay, then you sit a bit more up like on top of a mountain, but still plenty of space. So, wow, this is a spacious car, that's for sure. And the charge port is on the right side with the wrong side, should have been left side with the right side. It has a button there to open it. But this is a, a Chinese spec car, so you see that it has the inverter type 2 and a GBT port. So eventually it's, it's going to come with um, uh, CCS. Yeah, so then it's closer like this. And then the trunk, you open it here. And it's relatively large, except for that there is nothing under here. You can open the lid and you can even take it out, but here is a subwoofer with this interesting uh, speaker grill. What is that? Seems like around seven inches, six, six and a half, but maybe it's a long throw. Yeah, but um, it has sturdy hooks here for securing cargo on each corner. It has 12 volt outlet there. This is, I don't know, uh, uh, okay. Um, not that much, actually no pockets on the side like I tend to see in many cars now. And the trunk, well, if I would guess how many banana boxes you can take, I expect, expect maybe eight, but I have to check something. Can we recline the seat? Or is it just, oh, oh we can. You see here, it locks in that position. Uh, what, is the, what is the highest position? Oh, it's, it's there and then, Okay, so you can actually take it up slightly, there it locks, and that gives you a little bit more space in the trunk. So there you have it, it's like the Hongxi EH9's little brother, but it's more updated, it's faster, more efficient. Can't wait to test it. So that's going to be it for now, hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.